I'm Ashton Addison from the Crypto Coin Show, and today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Andrew Zappo, the head of Proppy Keys. Andrew, welcome to the show, and thank you for taking the time. Hey, Ashton. Thanks for having me today. You're very welcome. Excited to dive into Proppy and Proppy Keys, uh, an amazing innovation in uh, real estate and tokenization of real world assets, uh, which is, I think is a huge market that's going to drive a lot of capital into Web3 and just revolutionize real estate overall and, and physical properties. So I'm excited to dive in with that today with you. Uh, I would love to start out for those who aren't familiar uh, with Proppy and Proppy Keys on what exactly is Proppy and, and what is the project doing? And then we can dive into all the latest details. Sure, yeah. So the Proppy's mission is uh, to bring the real estate on chain, uh, simply said, and basically just uh, there's like many benefits to it. There's, uh, you know, obviously transparency and uh, making the stuff like more smooth. But like just long story short, uh, we do believe that real estate will eventually leave on chain like any other kind of value in the world. Basically, we're, we're already seeing it stops being kind of tokenized and so on. And mm. basically, we just see a huge potential there. Um, property itself does exist for quite some time for, if we're talking about the blockchain world, right? It was mm -hmm. founded in 2016 and I've been following the project like early on. And I think back in the day, like I had an impression that like, that's, that's a long shot, you know, like back in 2016, 17, this, uh, you know, people were mostly building kind of networks and like just this basic infrastructure and, uh, this like real world asset, like thing. It, was something you know like it's just mm -hmm. totally kind of outside of the box um and and now i feel like it's just a great time to kind of uh, you know to have this this thing coming to the real world and like it is actually happening now that we have all the l2s the cheaper transactions and like mm -hmm. you know etfs uh, for bitcoin and so on it just like comes naturally now um so yeah that's kind of like quite like a uh, like a brief overview. Uh, generally, Proppy exists for but main messages is that Proppy exists for quite some time. You know, 2016 mm -hmm. is the largest uh, real estate uh, platform. If we're talking about the on-chain world, the blockchain, um, and uh, basically, yeah, we we just uh, we believe that real estate comes to on-chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's pretty innovative to see Proppy so early on in the game 2016 looking at tokenizing real estate that was before tokenization of almost everything you know really at the start of ethereum and nfts didn't exist for many years to come uh, and tokenizing things easily so it's great to see you know when there's a startup that makes it this long usually uh, it's going to be a success you know i, I think 90% of startups die in their first two years. Um, and to, so to have that vision and then all of a sudden all the upgrades that come, as you mentioned, layer twos, cheaper transactions, tokenizations, NFTs. Hey, this technology perfectly applies to bring more real world benefit to the real estate industry. Um, and for anybody who's been in real estate in the traditional world, whether you're just buying your first personal house or you're actually in real estate, there's so many inefficiencies uh, and middlemen and extra cost and lengthy contracts and many months to get things done. I feel like blockchain could just make that so much faster and cheaper, just as it's done for the financial world. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, just uh, from the high level overview, I guess, like you end up paying 10% of the how, what, what, what the real estate worth uh, to just like fees and that are not always clear. Uh, to you and there's like basically in one single deal you have not just like three people right as buyer seller and the agent but then there's also like different entities you know insurance and everything and basically yeah it's just like it, it does make sense right right now this whole experience is super cumbersome it's really hard to deal with it's like it really depends on like which state you're in like property does make it like it, it puts everything kind of on the same page in terms of like you know all of the transactions and all of the kind of critical kind of uh deal kind of parts they they all live on chain so it's just much easier it's incredible to see and now you are the head of property keys 
which is a newer mm -hmm. innovation with Proppy. Can you talk about that initiative and, and what exactly that can do? Yeah, so Proppy Keys is the standalone project under the Proppy ecosystem umbrella. So we're not exactly the same, but basically there's, there's still kind of intersections, obviously. So Proppy Keys' mission is to gamify the uh, real estate addresses around the world. And um, we just launched our MVP uh, January, like well, last month, basically. Um, and uh, this app helps you to mint. You can basically mint any address in the world. And um, that would be your kind of tier one. You can just go ahead and mint the White House, for example, address. Although it's like it's already been minted, but there's like a couple more. I'm pretty sure you can try out minting your own home address. Mm -hmm. So that that's Proppy Keys. Basically, we're taking care of a gamification. Uh, we also have the AI generated NFT collection for landmarks. So like things like White House, uh, Empire State Building, Eiffel Tower, you name it. So all that basically goes through the AI generated artwork, and basically think of it as like a digital art more than anything. Uh, so that's tier one. The tier two and tier three is like when this uh, kind of gamified thing uh, becomes real, meaning that you can store the, your deeds or deed of sale or ownership certificate on chain. That's when Proppy comes. That's like tier two. And that's mm -hmm. where it, like it goes uh, through the kind of all of the due diligence and everything. But basically stage two and stage three is like when when you an actual owner and you want to have your stuff just secured and like you just want to put your stuff on chain and uh yeah probably keys takes care of the gamification of this like addresses around the world mm. yeah, that's that's kind of the fundamental idea that like we want all of the addresses in the world to be put on chain mm -hmm. mm, that's pretty cool so with this tier one you're able to tokenize your personal address I'm guessing most people's personal address, unless they live somewhere famous, is still available. And that creates an NFT. So is is there any extra utility or functionality that comes with that? Or is that as the tiers mm -hmm. go on, you can then utilize that in different ways? Yeah, so uh, that's a good question. Basically, you can stake your uh, minted address uh, and get rewards in Pro Tokens. Uh, and then the not, another use of those NFTs, you can pre-mint uh, someone's address and then benefit from when the, that real owner comes and uh, actually mints uh, the kind of the deed on chain. And uh, basically you just get paid in pro tokens for kind of uh, minting that address early on. So mm -hmm. in theory, you can just mill the whole city, mint the whole city and, and then end up, you know, being a landlord of the, I don't know, New York City <laughs> in like in five years and people went in that. So that's pretty cool. And now it's possible to mint, as you said, the White House, Eiffel Tower, the seven wonders of the world. And so is there an active marketplace where you can buy and sell different properties that are tokenized? Yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, because they're just NFTs on base network, um, you can buy and sell them on uh, OpenSea. Um, the important thing that, like, I just, I guess, I just missed. Uh, we are still in uh, in this beta stealth mode. So basically, in order to get to Proppy Keys, you're still gonna get the uh, the code that is unique to each user, and it's just like a, like personal invite code. So it's not public just yet, but we're preparing for the launch on March 12th. That's when uh everyone like the public will have uh, full access to the platform uh we're gonna have some gamification built around those like addresses and you can also stake your um your minted addresses as well mm -hmm. okay that's great to know uh i'll make sure that we're following up with the community leading up to the march 12th deadline and i i actually think it's really interesting what you're saying about being able to stake your address uh, you know, that's not what you would traditionally think of as being able to, you know, stake your Bitcoin or something like that. Yeah. But um, I feel like that's a very innovative way also just to learn about Web3, you know, being able to not not have to go all in as most real estate owners, you know, 99% of the world that isn't deep in crypto yet probably isn't ready to go full on out and sell their house through the blockchain, though I feel like that adoption is coming. Uh, this is a great first way to start tokenizing 
the, the address and then lead into those baby steps. I feel like this is a great baby step. Oh yeah, that, that's what it is basically because uh, we understand that like this this whole process and with with uh, you know Bitcoin existing for like what almost fifteen years, you know, and only now you have that ETF uh, launched. Um, real estate is also like a pretty kind of traditional space and like super regulated and and such. Um, so it does take time, and basically, meanwhile, we just don't want to waste time. Like even though the actual um kind of real estate transactions they already happen on chain we already have that infrastructure it's just like it it takes time to you know to, to build up this like adoption and like awareness um and basically property keys role here is like to, to play kind of on the, on the both fields first of all we're just like making real estate like gamified and like on chain friendly just like to, to you know it's just fun to tinker with it and like real mint a real state address and like this landmarks it just it just makes sense but then we're also serving a bigger kind of uh, goal that you know we want um people to kind of uh go on chain with with this like real estate stuff and it's just like the gamification is just natural part of it even though it's not exactly connected to the real world mm -hmm. so it's just mm -hmm. it kind of plays both roles i guess yeah that's very cool and you mentioned something about artificial intelligence also being involved. How exactly did you tie in these three different industries? Yeah. So yeah. So basically, landmark AI is um, is the feature that we built up on the property keys. And uh, whenever you come to property keys to mint an address, if you choose um, if you choose the landmark, a world known kind of uh, location. Uh, then basically uh, our AI would understand that and generate a nice, good-looking image for that. Mm -hmm. um, the examples, there, there's like already, I think, up to 300 landmarks minted on property mm -hmm. keys, and altogether we have 1,500 uh, real estate addresses minted during this like stealth closed mode. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you can just go ahead to OpenSea. Um, it you can also check it on Proppy uh, app, but it's just like for the convenience of the mm -hmm. crypto users, you can just go to OpenSea, find Proppy Keys collection, um, and you'll see there's like filtering. You can just filter uh, to see landmarks, and there's like you know a couple of landmarks that've been minted. There's uh, uh, Hollywood sign uh, have been sold by Minter for I think twenty six hundred dollars. Wow! Um, but basically, we're not like so. We're not kind of uh, pushing this landmark collection that much. Where our focus is developing the product, but mm -hmm. I think generally this like AI collection could become uh, uh, something bigger. You know, as a standalone NFT collection, uh, digital art that you know some of the digital art collectioners you know would appreciate mm -hmm. i guess yeah no that's really cool and i feel like as artificial intelligence continues to grow and develop you'll probably be able to do even more you know we're just at the beginning uh, of ai photos never mind videos and augmented reality and all that kind of stuff uh, tying into real estate i feel like we'll bring a lot of innovation in there. So looking forward to seeing how that grows in the future as the platform grows out. And now you mentioned also, Andrew, that you're minting it on the base network. So oh, yeah. base is the layer two that was developed with Coinbase. But so you're using Ethereum or property tokens on the base. What is the advantage of, of that? Is it just faster and cheaper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, yeah, it's just faster and cheaper, and we just uh, happen to, you know, we're lucky to get some type of like support from the base, and uh, it just comes mm. naturally. And also, you know, with Pro Token listed on Coinbase um, since I think 2019, um, and Property Token is basically feeds the whole ecosystem, not just Property, but also Property Keys. Um, it just comes naturally that like we chose uh, base network to kind of uh, have the whole experience of minting and keeping the uh, on chain addresses. Um, so yeah, and uh, apart from that, yes, Pro Token is the means of uh, used to uh, 
for uh, minting your wallets. Basically, that's kind of a, um, that's just a token that you use uh, for anything that happens on property in the proper ecosystem. So if you were to put uh, uh, deed on chain, you would use pro token as the method of payment. Apart apart from gas fee, obviously, mm -hmm. which is like super cheap on base network. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great to know. And now, currently, the property keys is in a closed beta, uh, which is good to show it to the audience early on, as there will still be a lot of addresses, most of the world that hasn't been minted yet and tokenized yet. You mentioned March 12th around there as the date for the launch. What are the ways that people can follow along with the updates and ensure that they can tokenize the addresses that they want on day one? Yeah, so, well, it's simple as that. You just uh, go to propertykeys.com on March 12th and uh, you should be able to mint any address. Um, so, like, right now you would require a code and like occasionally we would publish some of the codes for early birds on Twitter. So you can follow us on property keys on Twitter. Um, but on March 12th is like, we have this big launch with uh, some, some of the exciting stuff. So like public access, staking, um, the landmark AIs, uh, chances are it will also be available because we're just, um, the last time we let users to meet landmark AIs was like just 24 hours. We just don't want uh, those, you know, uh, iconic locations to be minted super quick. So yeah, uh, we just want to keep it a little bit longer for our public users, I guess. Yeah, no, that's great to hear. I, I can leave the the website link for Proppy Keys and the Twitter and the socials in the show notes below as well. Uh, I'm excited for this upcoming launch and I appreciate that the Proppy Keys and Proppy is, is working towards uh, making real estate easier to access, easier to understand, faster, cheaper, uh, and adding in blockchain in the best ways that they can. So thank you so much, Andrew, for your time and uh, all the best with the Proppy Keys launch upcoming. And I'll definitely be watching and I would love to follow up with you and your team in the near future. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, it's exciting times. Thank you for all the support.